It's been almost a year since I captured water bears, so I decided to collect some more samples from the garden. I've always managed to find tardigrades in these samples, so I can highly recommend you use moss as well if you want to be able to spot these fascinating little creatures. I picked off several small bits and filled two separate petri dishes with them. The next step in my preparation was hydration of these samples, so I added a bit of water. This will make the substrate more loose and help you spot not only the tardigrades, but other microscopic animals as well, such as nematodes and rotifers. Make sure that most of the moss is fully submerged in water as well, then let it rest for a few hours or even longer. For my setup, I used the Canon R7 APS-C body in Ultra HD crop mode for the narrowest field of view to maximize detail. The lens was the Laowa 25mm ultra macro lens at the highest possible magnification of 5x. I had the camera on the latest Nisi NM200S macro focusing rail in vertical position on my Gizzo tripod, so I was able to make very fine adjustments in order to try to nail the focus on our subjects. For lighting, I used multiple light sources, but the most important was the Bowling P1 LED light, and I also added a loom cube because I wanted to keep the ISO at 400. At this very high magnification, even though I used a relatively wide aperture of f4, which is the sharpest on the Laowa 25mm ultra macro lens, diffraction already kicked in, which you will be able to see, but I was still happy with the results. If you'd like to learn more about the gear I used here, you will find all the relevant links in the description. Anyway, enjoy this compilation and don't forget to subscribe for more.
Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn interesting facts about tardigrades and rotifers, have a look at these educational videos too.